So we'll talk about what is a problem with the fee. As blockchain has matured into some context, there have been some attempts to spread blockchain technology to more places and to actually implement in more areas. But to grow blockchain technology, fee should not be too expensive, unpredictable, or too, too difficult to pay. This all could become uh, obstacles for blockchain industry to go bigger. So we must have to solve this problem. To define the problem, first of all, this thing point out the most is the overpriced fee. It doesn't matter if you pay $100 worth of fee to buy, say, $100,000 worth of NFT. Because it's uh, compared to the actual price of uh, the NFT, the fee is not so big. But not all transactions are that expensive. For example, let's say in an NFT game, uh, maybe early stage of the service, there will be a lot of low cost items that probably take like few dollars to buy but let's say that this fee costs like $100 to buy or sell it it all becomes just ridiculous because nobody will be able to buy or sell with this overpriced fee many many projects are actually thinking about ways to solve expensive fees but this is actually a definitely definitely must must problem second drastic fee volatility which makes it unpredictable fee, fee fluctuates so rapidly that it is difficult to predict. For example, suppose you have a blockchain-based certificate issuing service and there's a fee about a dollar to actually issue one certificate. The operator will actually set a reasonable service charge, right, on based on the blockchain usage fee. For example, let's say he opens a $5 plan and recruited members to use the service, but one day the blockchain fee suddenly changed to a $10 to issue one certificate. If this happens, you have to close your business because you will be no longer able to operate your business with this uh, fee problem. So we can see that we cannot provide a stable service linked to blockchain if the fee fluctuates rapidly. And the lastly, and this could be a really, really troublesome trouble. I mean, the problem that we actually face, we could say UI, UX issues, that fee is too hard to pay. You know how EOS, EOS tried to, to solve this but the resource competition model didn't actually guarantee the sustainability. Ethereum recently updated the fee improvements at the London Hard Fork. They actually updated the fee structure improvement plan. They actually hoped that uh, this could reduce the fee volatility and increase predictability. But even then, the fee is now maintained at around $10, which is still expensive. So let's say, what do you mean by it's really hard to pay fee? Let's go step by step how actually uh, paying a fee in blockchain works. Let's say in number one, you acquired a DApp tokens. You could receive the DApp tokens by an airdrop or you could just buy it at a DApp service website. So let's say you already have the DApp tokens with you, but you have to able to send the DApp tokens. You need either. But to get either, you have to join the exchange and you probably have to do KYC and able to um, send cash to the exchange you have to link your bank account and then you send the cash to exchange then you can now buy the other at the exchange now it's time to uh, create your personal wallet it's like metamask or trust wallet and then you'll be able to transfer your either from exchange to your personal wallet now in order to send your DF token you have to set fee set fee fees are paid with either right and then finally, your DApp token is transferred. You see how hard this is? So how many process we have to go through in order to send DApp tokens? Or maybe um, you're, if you're already familiar with this, it won't be a problem. But as a, you never traded before in an exchange or this is your first time actually using a DApp, having a DApp token and trying to transfer DApp tokens, this is a really a burden. It's really difficult to actually send a DApp token and pay fee. 포토콘이 궁금하다면 좋아요, 구독, 알림 설정까지.